727 here guys with my pickups from the New York Comic Con. Really had a great time. Would have loved to meet some of you guys there. Definitely check it out if you're in the area or you can get to it next year. It's usually always in October and it's a real good time. So the first thing I got was my badge for Sunday. It has The Walking Dead on it and it's autographed by two of the artists there at Comic Con. Then I got this pin. This was pretty cool as I picked up at the PayPal booth. It's called PayPal here and it was free and all you have to do is have a PayPal account. And it's a credit card scanner and it allows anyone who wants to buy someone's money to go right into your PayPal account. And it's free. Uh, very small transaction fee, so it's uh, really worth it, and this will come in very handy with selling stuff. Then I picked up some of these cards. They were handing them out. They're a uh, new gen. You got Diamond, Flyer, Robo Duck, Nate Guard, Mini, Gazelle. Thea, Gabriel, Carmen, the twins, Metaletim, Metalities, or something like that, Daedalus, those are the characters from their comic book. And while I was there, I had... Uh, picked up, where is it now? This is their comic book. Uh, it's the entire, you know, couple of books in the series. It's the whole first series in one book, so that was really cool. And the artist autographed it. I also got a new comic called Torchbearer. The artist both and writer both signed it, and the artist drew a picture there for me as well. So that was really appreciative. I uh, got this ad for Kung Fu Stars. This is the card for the Comic Con. Got this cool little scarf from a Kung Fu booth. Comic Con tattoo. This stuff's not... Hitman photo sniping shows the new cases for the PS3 and the Xbox 360. They look really cool. Got this ad for Romani Knights. I got uh, Arrow issue one from the TV series, and that's autographed. I got Batman number one autographed by uh, Scott Snyder and Jonathan Glapian. I got the Justice League one autographed. I got these Hitman stickers. I got a new gen, the convention exclusive, autographed by the author and artist. Aquaman 1, autographed by Jeff Johns, Ivan Reese, and Joe Prado. The Flash issue 1. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo Free Special Edition Preview, a Comic-Con exclusive. Mrs. Marvel Issue 12 and Issue 13. Emma Frost Issue 4, I just like that cover. The Comic-Con Convention Book, which has some cool stories and ads and such. The New York Comic Con program.
I got the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk Hero Clicks. And this is what it looks like. It's really cool. Uh, I picked up for playing the new Darkstalkers Resurrection. This little piece you wear on your head. I got uh, two drawings uh, done by artists. The first one is Batman done by Will Eisner. Uh, it was really cool meeting him. Really great guy. Did a great drawing for me. He asked what character I wanted. Being a huge Batman fan, I had to choose him. And then I got another drawing done by an artist of Apocalypse, one of my favorite Marvel villains. So that was really cool. Can't wait to put those on the wall. Then I played Resident Evil 6, and if you made it the entire 30-minute um, window that you got to play, if you didn't die, they gave you two things free. And I got the Resident Evil 6 poster. And the special Resident Evil flashlight, which has the North American Biological Security Assessment Alliance on it. It's really cool. And by far, what I would call the coolest pickups, I'll show you the boxes first and then the actual statues. So first I picked up Captain Marvel bust. That's the box. And here's the statue. Really cool, well detailed. One of my favorite Marvel characters. Was really glad to get that in the collection. Then I bought the Mystique Bowen statue. I was really glad to get this as I'm a big fan of Mystique. And this is my favorite statue of her and it's harder to come by as it's a rarer one. Since this was before they made the detachable bases, so it's one piece and quite fragile. There's a pan around of her. Very glad to get her in my collection. And she is number 861 of a thousand. And the bust was number 3000 of 3500. And then finally at that same booth they did a contest Anyone who bought something got their name in a raffle, and I won. And I won this Corgi Marvel Heroes 112th Scale Storm metal figure. And it's painted. This is the box. And here's the statue. Really cool. Very well done. Here's a pan around. Quite heavy. Uh, she is number 1,053 of 2,500, and you can't beat it for free. Really cool. So, guys, I will be doing a video in the next couple of days with a giveaway for the Comic-Con stuff. I have some extras that I'll be sending out uh, a first place and a second place prize. So, that'll be in the next video. I'll show what you can get, and... Uh, We'll get to that contest. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed. This is Hacker727 out. Peace. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.